This is how you get ahead of 99% of people in six to 12 months. Three steps I'm gonna share with you. One of the first things that is really, really important for you to do is become really obsessed. And when I say obsessed, I'm saying really obsessed with what is costing you to stay where you are right now. We don't realize this, but we're motivated by two things. We're motivated by either pain or pleasure. And most of us are 10 times more motivated by pain than we are pleasure. And sometimes it's really, really important for us to understand how much is it costing us if we currently stay where we are. So I'll give you a prime example. I was actually at a conference about a month ago and a question was asked is, is like, how much is it costing you by, by not nurturing yourself emotionally? And it was a long exercise, but when you really drilled it down, a lot of the cost was, okay, how, how much is this costing my wife? How much is this costing my son? How much is this costing my daughter? How much is this costing you know, uh, clients that I work with? How much is this costing my siblings? How much is this costing? So, so the price was just continuous, and sometimes we don't realize that there is an is a opportunity cost that's invisible to us because we don't even look for it. And sometimes we stay stuck where we are because we think that it's only costing us. And sometimes you have to get to a point where you really understand that if I stay stuck where I am, if I don't write that book, if I don't start this business, if I don't go for another job, I'm staying stuck. It's costing me more than just money. And sometimes, even if we just focus on the money, we don't realize that, look, if you, if you can make an extra $50,000 a year doing something, and you've been thinking about doing this other thing for 10 years, that is $500,000 just in that instance that that's costing you. So when you think about truly becoming obsessed with what it's costing you, think about it from the perspective of not just the dollar figure that you can see, all of the invisible costs that you can't and how much it's costing the people that depend on you, whether it's your family or whether if you want to start a business, all of the people who can, like you can help in business, but think about the cost that is costing you beyond just what you can see. And, and when you become obsessed with that and really get curious and look into it, then you start to see things that maybe you didn't see before because you weren't looking for them. But that right there, will, it, it's enough to get you upset and even angry to a certain extent. And I'll tell you this, anger is not a bad thing, especially when it's righteous. When you can get angry about something from a righteous perspective, that might be the thing that you need to actually move you forward to help all of those people that are truly depending on you. And that within itself is something that can help you to get ahead of 99% of people in six to 12 months. Now, here's the, the second thing. The second thing is this. People talk about reading you know, a book a month, and some, some people even read a book a week. However, the thing is this. So many people, because we live in a world that, that's like it's so many distractions, so many things coming at us. And, and, and the reality is this, sometimes people might read a book in a month or, or a week, and then they go to another book, they go to another book, and that first book that they read within that first year, however, whenever they started, they forgot everything that they read in that book. And by the time they get to the sixth book, they forgot everything that they read in the third book. And by the time they get to the 10th book, they forgot everything that they learned in the sixth book. And I would encourage you to focus on mastery instead of misery. And here's why I say that. I say misery because so often people consume all of this information and they end up becoming miserable because they're like, look, I, I spent all of the time doing this. You know, I learned this and I learned that. And really, they did not learn at all because they can't even communicate it back to somebody else because there's different levels of learning. And I don't want to go into that, but it's like when you can't communicate something to somebody else about something that you read a month ago, you didn't learn it. You might have memorized it, but you didn't learn it. And so often people memorize things for the moment, but they don't master things for life. And so to truly get ahead of 99% of people, the one thing that you can do is, is focus on mastery over misery. So how does that work in this example? I would encourage you to find one book and read that book three times before you go to the next book if you're a reader, but, but whatever it is for you, master that because when you master it, that's something that you can get good at. When you, when you think about like people that are extremely successful and people that are known for something, people that are known for something now are people that master something behind the scenes. And when you focus on mastery, that can put you ahead of so many people very, very fast because most people didn't master anything. They don't master anything and they're not known for anything. 
And I'm not saying that, you know, as a knock and, and, and diminishing or degrading people or anything. I'm not saying it for that reason. I'm saying that the average person, they do not master anything. And when you think about what are they known for, they're not known for anything because they didn't master anything. And I'm not saying mastery has to always, you know, be connected to money because it doesn't. But I'm saying master something. Be known for something. Build a brand around something. Have a legacy around something. And the only time that you can build a brand, a legacy or something that's going to live longer than you is to master something. And when you master something, that immediately puts you ahead of everybody else. And it puts you in a category of one with yourself. Because a lot of times, you know, we, we focus on the wrong competition. I'm going to say that. Because the version of us yesterday, that's the version of us today that we should be trying to be better than. And if we just iterate ourselves to greatness from that perspective, there is not a single possibility in this universe for us to ever lose because it's not focusing on anybody else outside of our shadow. But when you focus on mastery instead of misery, that will put you light years ahead of not just others, but even your past self, because that's really the, the, the real competition. Because so often people are mad, frustrated, just discouraged, and even just disgusted with themselves because who they are today is the same person they were 20 years ago. And it's like, man, how are you this close? And, and 20 years have passed. Like, and you're, you're thinking this to your, your past self. Like, man, how are you this close to me? I should be 20 years ahead of you, but I'm not. And that's something that, that angers people because they haven't mastered anything. Now, two more things I want to share with you, and you really want to stick around for this last thing. But this, what, what I want to share right now is the importance of learning a high paying skill. This is very critical for so many reasons. Even if you have a job right now, it is really critical for you to learn a high paying skill, even if you don't plan on starting a business or having some kind of, some kind of side hustle. When you, when, you, when you truly learn a high paying skill, what it does is it raise your own internal value immediately. And, and so often we don't realize that sometimes we show up differently when we understand our own value, even if other people outside of us don't recognize it. And right now, there, there are so many opportunities if you learn a high paying skill to get a high paying income. You also free yourself up with a lot of time because there are, there are people right now, and I'll, I'll tell you just two off the top of my head that are really high paying skills, speaking and writing. There are people that go speak for an hour and they make $20,000 and you would think like that's a lot of money. That's common. Like, like though it's, it's so common that, that you don't even know a lot of these people because it's so common. There are people that, that write emails for people and they're making, you know, you know, two, three, four, five thousand dollars per email. And you might think, why would somebody do that? Because of how much money they're making the person on the other end. And sometimes it's not so much as to, you know, to why would somebody pay you that amount, but it's why wouldn't you if you know how to make them more money than what they're paying you? Because the reality is this, when you really develop a high paying skill, what you're really learning is problem solving. And when you think about the, the wealthiest people on the face of this earth, they solve problems. So when you learn a high paying skill, that immediately puts you in the front of the line of so many people. And I, when you think about this, if somebody is a janitor, that skill is very common. So people are not going to pay a lot of money for that skill because it's, it's, it's you know, supply and demand. There's not a lot of demand for that, even though it's a lot of supply for it. So that's not something that people are willing to pay a lot of money for. When you think about somebody who's a cook at McDonald's, like really, it's not even about cooking. It's about you pushing a button. And I don't say this to be demeaning or anything like that because everybody has to start from somewhere. I'm saying this to prove a point that when you have like low skills, you're going to get low pay because it is not justified to pay you more money. But when you have a high paying skill, something that most people don't have, then that justifies the price that you can actually charge somebody. Because sometimes we don't realize that when you have two people that can do the exact same, the exact same job. Somebody might, might get this other job 
just because they have these additional skills and they might get paid 10 more thousand dollars than this other person just because they have additional skills and it might be skills that this job right here doesn't even entail but it's when this person gets to this point what they're going to do beyond that and so when you develop high paying skills and you learn high paying skills it just puts you in a high paying category that most people are not in because they're not focused on the skills and the other thing that i want to say is this because some people might immediately say well you know, everybody's not a speaker or, or, you know, I fear speaking or, you know, whatever the case may be. Like there are so many skills that does not require people to be, you know, on stage or in front of the camera or, or whatsoever. And they're making tons of money. So I know I mentioned email and like even more money than that is copywriting. Like copywriting is one of the highest paid skills in the world. Like there are people that make like hundreds of thousands of dollars plus royalties from writing one copy letter. And you might be thinking, well, what is that? You know, it, it, it's essentially what it is, is when people are selling products, their skill might be in front of the camera or coaching or whatever, their skill might not be writing, but they're willing to pay somebody a hundred thousand dollars plus royalties because when this person writes this copy, it's going to make them millions on the back end. So they're willing to get up 10% of that. That's a high paying skill. And that's something that anybody can learn. Whether you wanna be on stage, in front of the camera or behind, it doesn't matter where you are, anybody can learn that skill. And it's something that's going to be needed for generations to come, if you will, even with the rise of AI. People still are going to need copywriters. So that's, that's a high paying skill. Now that's just one of many. But, but whatever you, know, you might have an interest in or, or something that's doable for you, I encourage you, to find a high paying skill that you can learn immediately and understand you're not going to be the best at it starting off. It might take time, but it's like if, if it takes you two years, two years is going to come anyway. Two years have already gone. When you think about where you were two years from now, two years is now here already. And you're like, wow, time went by so fast. So two years is going to come regardless. So why not leverage and maximize your time and learn something that can pay you going forward for the rest of your life? Now, the next thing that I would truly encourage you to do to separate yourself from 99% of people in six to 12 months is have a vision, create a vision, but not just create a vision, but write your vision down. Because most people don't have a vision for anything in their life. And I want to encourage you to have a vision for everything in your life. Have a vision for yourself. Have a vision for your family. Have a vision for your money. Most people don't realize when you don't have a vision for your money. If you don't tell your money where to go, your money will leave without your consent. So it's very important for you to have a vision for your money, a vision for your family, and even a vision for yourself. And not just to have one, but write it down. Because so often people put more energy on blaming others for what they don't have versus taking responsibility and getting to where they want to be with what they do have. And here's the thing. I'm not saying that there's not legitimate, you know, cases against people. And for this demographic, people it's harder, you know, or, or if you grew up over here, it's hard. I'm not saying that whatsoever because I know all of those things are real. But what I'm saying is this. If you give more energy to the problem than you do the solution, the problem is going is that's going to be what you get more of. Like that's what you're going to be stuck in. There's something called the reticular activation system. And all it is, is it's a fancy way of saying whatever you focus on, that's what you're going to continuously see more of. You think about if you've ever bought a car before, you know, maybe it's a, you know, a red Honda Civic. You know, you, you bought a red Honda Civic and you probably never saw red Honda Civics before you bought yours. But as soon as you bought your red Honda Civic, now they're everywhere. And you're like, man, how, where, where do all these cars come from? They've always been there. But your reticular activation system just brought it to the forefront of your mind because that's what you were focused on. That's what was important to you. And so that's what your subconscious mind opened up your conscious mind to see more of because that was the direction that you were going in. The same things take place if you focus on a problem and you know what, what, the, what the system is doing to you and what the man, and again, I'm not downplaying those things because it's real. However, if you focus on those things, you will miss opportunity just like you did when you did not see those red cars that you now see because now you're focusing on that. So all I'm saying is this, direct your energy and focus on the solution. Yes, those things are real. 
However, if anybody got out of it, so can you. If, it, if anybody lived in this situation and, and became successful, so can you. So, and this only happens when you have a vision for yourself. And I'm not saying that it has to be written down. I'm saying that it must be written down because most people that don't have a vision, they perish. And that comes from the ancient book of wisdom. So I want to encourage you to have a vision for every single thing in your life. And you might be thinking like, man, I don't have any money right now. Still, that's that's all the more better for you to have a vision for your money. So when you get some, you know exactly what's going to happen to it when you get there. We don't realize this. The greatest form of faith is preparation. So when you start to prepare for your money, even before you get it, that that causes you to now seek out or find ways or even detect ways that money can come to you because you now have an assignment for it. Because when you don't have an assignment for it or something for it to do or some way for it to be utilized in a positive way that helps more people, then why would it come to you? But it's like when you truly create a vision for your money, yourself, your family, for everything, now you start to attract those things because that's what you're focusing on. That's what you're looking for. And when you follow these things, this can get you in front of 99% of people in six to 12 months, if not faster. Now, if you've gotten any value out of this video, I strongly encourage you to subscribe. And if there's something that I, you know, that I said you don't agree with, comment below and let me know. And if there's something that maybe I missed that you think, hey, this should be on the list as well, comment that below as well. Because here's the thing. We all can learn from one another. You might, you know, have a different perspective than what I have. I might have a different perspective than what you have. Somebody else can have a different perspective. However, they're all learning opportunities. And so I want to encourage you to first off, subscribe, like, but comment below what you thought about this video or either something that you, you know, felt like could have been, you know, in this list that wasn't. But either way, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.